Hi, I'm Hao Sun Wen from University of Rochester. Today we're presenting our work, A Fast General System for Buffered Persistent Data Structures. This paper is co-authored by me, Wen Tao Tsai, Ming Zhe Du, Louis Jenkins, Benjamin Valpe, and Michael Scott. Non-volatile bit-addressable memory offers the possibility of keeping pointer-rich data structures across program runs and even crashes. Given that CPU caches are still volatile, though, we need explicit write-back and fence instructions to make sure operations are persisted in a correct order. The most widely used correcting criteria, namely durable linearizability, tend to incur high latency in every operation due to persistence before each operation's return. Its relaxed version, buffer durable linearizability, may ease the burden and significantly boost performance, but we don't yet have a general system for building buffer durable data structures. In this paper, we propose Montage, the first general system that helps building buffer durable linearizable data structures. It achieves great performance by persisting operations in core screen epochs or at low latency sync calls, which is a common persistence model used by databases or file systems. We further reduced persistence cost by only persisting abstraction-related data on NVM, just enough to make the remaining uh, structures recoverable. Let's start with introducing rules of persist ordering. As an intuitive and widely used correctness criterion, durable linearizability requires operations to persist before they return. This gives us the strongest recoverability in the sense that in the wake of a crash, data structures can be, can be recovered to the last finished operation before the crash. But the downside is that writes back and fences are issued to wait for all updates to NVM to finish before their corresponding operations return, which can be quite expensive. Sometimes, however, we don't need persistence orders as strong as required by durable linearizability, especially when an application can tolerate some progress loss on a crash or when the application has specific points in its execution where it needs to know that all previous operations are persisted, just like what databases and file systems would do for their IO to persistent storage. In such cases, buffer durable linearizability poses weaker but sufficient ordering constraints, which can lower the overhead on ordering. It only requires that operations do not persist in an order in opposite to their happens before order. For instance, if O1 happens before O2, O1 should never be persisted after O2, but they can be persisted at the same time. This gives us the benefit that an operation can return without persisting, hence avoiding the need to wait for persistence on every operation. Inspired by Dali, the first practice of buffer durable linearizability, Montage implements buffer durable linearizability by dividing an execution into epochs, which marks the persistence order of operations in batches. If two operations are ordered by epoch, they either do not happen, have happens before order or their happens before order is consistent with epoch order. Montage makes sure that each operation is marked with only one epoch and operations in the same epoch persist at atomically together. The epoch-based periodic persistence of montage is designed as follows. All write operations are assigned epoch numbers, which is read from a persistent slow-ticking epoch lock. In one write operation, all the writes to persistent memory are marked with the same epoch number, so operations are linearized with epoch boundaries. This is important because the data structure is persisted in the granularity of epochs. If updates of an operation are marked with a different epoch, the operation is not guaranteed to be failure atomic. Also, although an operation may return after a new epoch starts, it needs to be seen as linearized in epoch of its persistent writes. Since read-only operations has nothing to persist, they don't need epoch numbers, but they are still linearized with some other operations and can always find an epoch to linearize in. Before the epoch boundary from E to E plus one, all operations in epoch E minus one are weighted to finish and persist. If a crash happens in epoch E, the history will be driven back to the end of epoch E minus two. All operations in E minus one and E are discarded. Consequently, we cannot trivially overwrite persistent objects or payloads in our paper. If a payload was last updated in previous epochs, 
they cannot be in place updated in new epoch because the history of those blocks in old epochs need to be pres preserved in case the new epoch is discarded. Instead, we make copies of those blocks and update new copies. During this process, the data structure needs to make sure that the linearization order of operations is consistent with their epoch number. Specifically, if an operation sees some block from a later epoch, there might be an ordering issue. For example, as W1 and W6 overlap in time, it might be possible for W1 to linearize after W6, which is inconsistent with their epoch number. In such cases, Montage can optionally raise an exception as a reminder. Note that this issue is not necessarily faulty depend, depending on the data structures. For example, helping and cleanup operations among non-blocking data structures may update or reclaim some payloads. Out of order persistence of those operations may not be an issue since they do not affect the abstract state of the data structures. Montage further reduces persistence overhead by reducing the amount of persistent data. Prior works like non-blocking persistent memory allocator RALAC, persistent data structure implementations like NV3, FP3, and Pronto show that after crashes, data structures can be rebuilt from a set of data representing its abstraction. For example, the abstract data of sets and mappings can be their keys and values. For queues, it can be their values and queue node orders. For graphs, it can be vertices and edges together with their relationships. Montage allows data structures to only persist those data and helps iterate through those abstract data during recovery so the transient indexing can be rebuilt. For a mapping, for example, this can be a linked list, a hash map, or a tree. In many target applications like in-memory databases, abstract data can take the majority of the data structure's memory usage, which makes this strategy a preferable way to use NVM since it tends to be much larger than DRAM. Please note that abstract data is just a minimum set of information to be put into persistent payloads. Montage users can always persist more data for faster recovery after crashes. This is an example of Montage persistent mapping implemented as a tree. The dark blue blocks represent persistent payloads containing abstraction-related information. With only those blocks after crashes, the upper transient in indexing structure can be rebuilt. Montage prototype is built on RALUG for fast NVM allocations. Each language level object of persistent payloads are stored in blocks allocated by RALUG with at least one copy. Montage provides a set of C++ API to track the reads and writes of persistent payloads. Montage may choose to apply the writes in place if a payload is last updated in the, la in the current epoch or allocate a new copy for the payload's first update in the current epoch to preserve history. Either way, writes are registered with the epoch in which they are performed. Montage also tracks the boundaries of each operation in order to assign the same epoch number to all writes in the same operation. Recall that cache lines of each registered write in epoch E must finish write back to NVN by the end of E plus one. But the invocation of writes back can be as early as immediately after the write. The problem with that is on current Intel machines that supports op obtain DRAM, CLWB instruction actually invalidates the cache line, which messes up the cache locality and de degrades performance of data structures. On the other extreme, buffering writes back of whole epochs brings too much overhead and stretches epochs exponentially. So our implementation uses small fixed size circular buffer to delay writes back just enough to keep good cache locality, while the overhead of accessing and clearing the buffer of an epoch is minimal. Besides that, payload reclamations need to be buffered for at least two epochs since they cannot be undone after a crash and we need unbounded containers for this. Interestingly, it turns out that we only need to be persisted and to be reclaimed buffers for at, least, for at most four epochs at any time. So we statically allocate four sets of containers and reuse them over time. Global epoch in montage simultaneously advances every 10 milliseconds for close to optimal performance on most microbenchmarks. A dedicated thread 
does necess necessary writes back and memory reclamation to ease the burden of worker threads. But sometimes application may want to wait until all previous operations are persisted before its next instruction. Montage provides sync function that does this by advancing epoch twice from current epoch before return. To make sync faster, sync callers on different threads help each other with cache line writes back. The helping is coordinated with a tree-based mindicator variant with the buffer of every thread as leaves to avoid repeated writes back. With this optimization, we observed superior performance of montage even with sync called after every operation, which essentially achieved strict durable linearizability. This slide shows the throughput of montage among other persistent or transient implementations of hash maps. Note that y-axis is log scaled. Montage has significantly better performance than all other persistent hash map implementations except soft, which has a significant drawback that it keeps a copy of all data on DRAM, so that the size of the hash map is bounded by DRAM capacity. For more information about experiment setups and results, please refer to the paper. To wrap up, Montage reduces the persistence overhead of recoverable data structures by reducing the cost of persistent ordering and reducing the amount of persistent data. It is suitable for both log-based and non-blocking data structures, while the latter involves some non-trivial effort. Please see the paper for details. In experiments, it shows unprecedented performance as a general system for building persistent recoverable data structures. We have a successor of this work with non-blocking epoch advance just got accepted in DISC 2021, and we would like to explore atomic composition of operations on multiple data structures based on montage. The artifact of this work is open sourced on GitHub. Thank you.